After a Sandhill crane was shot to death with a pellet gun, some residents are fearing for their safety as investigators track down who did it. John Rogers joins us now live in Manatee County. And John, officials definitely not taking this lightly. Oh, they certainly aren't, Stacy, because Sandhill cranes are federally protected. And I want to show you something. Take a look where this cross is. That's the spot where the Sandhill crane was killed, literally between two houses next to a window. Someone could have seriously gotten hurt here. This sandhill crane is in trouble. It has a broken leg and its life is in danger. So Justin Matthews is determined to save it. He runs Matthews Wildlife Rescue and he's made it his mission to save these animals. But earlier this week, there was one he couldn't save. It's hurtful. It's very depressing. On Tuesday, this sandhill crane was found with bullet holes next to a home. It had been shot at least three times with a pellet gun. It was just the bird just laying and uh, its mate was walking around, just looked distraught, all upset. Minutes earlier, Jennifer Mathis had taken photos of the bird in her backyard. Now it was shot to death right outside her child's window. My kids come outside and play. Who's to say that they miss whatever they're shooting at and shoot my kid or my dog or the neighbor's kids? You know, you don't know. It's scary. Sand Hill cranes are federally protected. The shooter could face fines or possible jail time. Why you would shoot a bird just to shoot it and watch it fall doesn't make any sense to me. If you can do that to a defenseless animal, what can you do to people? Back at the rescue scene, the mission is a success. This sandhill crane could have a fighting chance. Sadly, the murdered sandhill crane didn't. But Matthews is determined to find who did this. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is investigating the case. Matthews Wildlife Rescue is also offering a $500 reward for any information leading to an arrest. Reporting in Parish, John Rogers.